what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl queen talks crime and i am back with another video okay um make sure y'all like share subscribe um and you can feel free to comment down below if you have any questions or comments about this video so this specific video i'm going to talk about darian brown's crimes okay his crimes all right and the issues that i have the questions that i have the concerns that i have that the neighbors have that people that are around have okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about it i might have to mute my phone because it might keep going off in the middle of this video all right so first off, I would like to address, for those who do not know, and maybe you're new to what's going on with this case, Darion Brown is an 18-year-old boy that kidnapped and murdered Cash Jernan in Texas, okay? That's who Darion Brown is, all right? That's who he is. Now, let's go ahead and... And get a little bit. Sorry, I want to make sure y'all can see. Okay, so that's who Darion Brown is. Secondly, I've asked this in the last video. What do you feel Monica and Cameron's relationship is with Darion Brown? The reason why I asked this is because of this. When Monica and Cameron did their interview with, you know, the reporters and everything like that, if you watch, you can go Google it and look it up. When you actually go watch those videos, okay, and what they're saying, they act like they don't know why Darion would do such a thing, why he would take cash. It was like, you know, they, they don't. He don't have a grudge against them. They act like they didn't know him. Um, they don't know why he would do something like this. Um, it's not for revenge. All these things, okay? All these things. Fireworks outside. Kids are already doing fireworks. So, excuse the popping, okay? So, they act like they don't know why or why they, this even happened. That's what they're acting like, okay? Then to find out when an incident occurred with Darion Brown and the, a neighbor, the grandfather, whose house was broken into, okay? And when his house was broken into, Darion Brown assaulted him and picked up, physically touched, grabbed his granddaughter, tried to leave the house with the grandbaby. The grandfather was physically assaulted trying to save his granddaughter okay monica took it upon herself to go and ask the man not to call the police okay for those who do not remember okay she went and asked that man and said please do not call the police on him he's had a mental breakdown but at the beginning you was on tv the news talking to reporters Acting like you didn't know Darion Brown. You and Cameron was acting like you didn't know Cam uh, Darion. And you don't know why he would do anything like this. And you didn't know him. You act like you didn't know him. But then you went to go basically save him. From the police. Then you act like you didn't know him. Then it comes out again that he was in your house. And he was regularly in your house. It's the lies for me, sis. It's the lies for me. And when you're not honest, it makes the people feel like you're hiding something. Okay? It makes the people feel like you're hiding something. And we just can't trust you. And what are what is it that you don't want us to know? What is it that you don't want the people to know? That is a great question for me. What is it that you don't want the people to know? But best believe, whatever it is, it will come out. So, it's just always best to be honest up front. 
no matter what happens. Always be honest because it's going to come out, okay? Another question is, why didn't the neighbor, and I want you guys to think about this. Somebody comes to my house, tries to take one of my kids. I don't care who the person is related to. You can't come to my house and beg me not to call the police. And he hit me upside my head, and he assaulted me, and he had my child physically in his arms. I wouldn't care what you're talking about. I'm still going to call the law. But the neighbor didn't. Why do you guys think that? Why didn't that neighbor phone law enforcement? Why didn't the neighbor phone law enforcement and listen to Monica? Was the Monica and the neighbor close? Was Monica and the neighbor close? But after Cash Gurnan was kidnapped and murdered, now you want to just run and tell everything and file reports. But why didn't you do it then? You want to go do it now, weeks later. When you could have already done it. And it, we all know how I feel that possibly Cash would still be alive if he had called the police and put Darion in jail then. But nevertheless, the neighbor didn't. But after Cash gets kidnapped and murdered, now you, the neighbor, want to go and... File charges and report everything. Now. Does anybody else find that odd? I just find that odd. Very odd. Okay. So let's even go on to the crimes. Okay. So Darion Brown, he kidnapped Cash. Stabbed him multiple times. Left him outside. Like he was garbage. Okay. There is rumor that he was possibly sexually assaulted. But that was word from a family member. So, therefore, we can't really, if it didn't come out in the autopsy report that he was sexually assaulted. I don't really want to base anything on that. I would just say it's rumored. Because that's what it is, rumored. Until there's actually a document stating or the news actually come out and say, boom, Cash Journey was sexually assaulted. But supposedly, Monica's father did say that Cash was sexually assaulted as well. But like I said, I'm not going to say for sure, hey, that happened. Why? Because that's not, I haven't heard that in a real document. So I'm just not big off of going off of, you know, hearsay, but I will let you know what's being said in the word in the street, but I'm not going to say, hey, this is fact, okay? It's not fact in my book. All right, so let's move on to people are talking about the ankle monitor that Darion Brown allegedly has, okay? That's rumored to be false. He did not have on no ankle monitor. Now, I don't know what he had stuffed in his sock on that video, because he had something stuffed in his sock. No telling. You know, he was a hothead. You know? No telling. Okay? What he had stuffed in his sock. But, nevertheless, it wasn't an ankle monitor. Okay? So that is rumored to be false. Alright? Let's move on to... Oh, let me get comfortable. Oh, God. That chair, this is not a comfortable chair, y'all. I'm so sorry. This is not a comfortable chair. All right. So let's even move on to breaking cameras with hammers. So the neighbors have video footage, reports, phone calls to Texas police of 
Darion Brown holding up a hammer, going around the neighborhood, breaking cameras, opening and shutting car doors, threatening neighbors that I'm going to come back to your house while you're sleeping, kill you and your whole family with my hammer. So he's breaking cameras with hammers on video and photos, opening and shutting car doors, video footage and photos of this, and threatening neighbors that you're going to come and kill their whole family, including their kids. This is where I have the problem at. So what was being done about this? What was being done about this Texas PD? If neighbors are calling you reporting and have proof of things that are happening, somebody is threatening them, people are scared. Alleged there is a family of, 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 of neighbors that have to leave once their husband go to work. Scared to be in her own house until her husband gets home from work. She gets dropped back off at home. People are running in their house because they're scared that he might jump out of the bushes and harm them? What's up, Texas PD? So y'all allowing an 18-year-old allegedly mentally challenged individual run amok in that neighborhood? Really? Now, would it have been wrong for somebody to put him down, it would have only been a matter of time that he broke into the wrong person's house and somebody would have picked up something and laid him right on out with holes in his body. It happens every day. Would it have been wrong? Because some people would, would think that would be wrong. To me, no, it wouldn't. You come up in my house, you get whatever is coming to you. Because my job is to protect me and mine. It would have only been a matter of time for one of them neighbors to lay Darion out cold-blooded. It would only have been a matter of time, you guys. With all the things and the crimes that Darion Brown has committed. Breaking cameras, breaking in people's houses, putting his hands on people's grandkids and children, and murdering. It would have only been a matter of time that someone would have laid Darion Brown out cold. Flat. Mother of Darion Brown, you would have been burying your child if the police hadn't have picked him up. It would have only been a matter of time. And they, the neighbors would have been well within their right to defend themselves from Darion Brown. And the response time, the response time with the police is ridiculous. Y'all got to do better. Even the suburban homes, you still have to let your presence be known to deter crime. That is your job as the police to obviously serve and protect, but also help deter the crimes. And you had repeatedly phone calls and y'all did nothing. Nothing. And then it took y'all a very long time to get out there. Somebody could have already been dead. Because y'all response time is ridiculous. Re damn ridiculous. So Texas, we the people feel that y'all got to do better. Especially, not just for that suburban neighborhood. But any neighborhoods that you're responsible for. You have to do better. Because 
someone just died and it could have been avoided. All of this could have been avoided. But yet we're here talking about it because a baby lost his life. And on top of the baby losing his life, Nothing was ever done about Darion Brown. Maybe Cash would have been here. If y'all would have locked Darion Brown up and got him some help that he need. Okay? So shame on you, Texas. Do better. Please, do better. Do better. Now, let's speak about Darion going back in the home. The morning he kidnapped Cash. He went back to go get Carter. How was he able to go back in that home with all those people and get Carter? And thank God Carter moved and startled him. Or Carter would have been dead too. I find that odd. What was going on in that house? Where that Darion was able to go in and out the house, come get a kid, kill a kid, come back to get the other kid, and got spooked just because Carter was moving. Something startled him. Was it the noise in the house of other people? Or was it Carter himself waking up that startled Darion? We will never know. I would like to know. <clears throat> I would like to know what startled Darion from getting Carter. We the people want to know what startled Darion. Okay? But something did to get Carter. Something startled them. I don't know what they was doing in the house where Darion was able to come back in there and get an attempt to get Carter. I have no clue. None whatsoever. Monica, you got to do better as far as that household. Y'all all, all should have been on one side of the house. I don't know. You should work something out. But I will know if somebody comes in any door in my house. Because guess what? I make sure my room is positioned where I will know whoever enters or goes out any of the doors of my home. Okay? But she has to do better as far as being aware of what's going on in your home. Okay? Because you still do have other kids there. So, I'm just wondering how did that happen? Okay? Why did Darion do what he did? I have not... Yet to find an answer yet. Yes, I'm updating you guys on what else I've learned from the last time I did a video about cash. But I still do not know and nobody knows the motive. I do feel like there's more to what Monica and Cameron is telling us about their relationship and knowing Darion. I do feel like they're leaving something out. Because it just doesn't make sense. Okay. But I do feel like they're leaving things out because later on it comes out they had dealings with Darion multiple times. So they're leaving things out. Why? Okay. So why did Darion do what he did? What was Darion Brown's motive for killing Cash and attempting to take Carter? What was Darion Brown's motive? We want to know, what was the motive? Why? What were you thinking? What were you doing? What was going through your mind? Okay? Most psychopaths don't need a motive. They do it for fun. They do it because they like to do it. They like to hurt people. Some people I even heard, they want to see what comes out of a human body. They, want to, they like how it feels to hurt another individual. But for Darion Brown, why and what? 
why and what motivated you to do what you did. Now, let's get to Darion Brown's mother, okay? Now, I get it. Us mothers, even when our kids are in the wrong, we still want to protect them. But there's a certain line that you go to in protecting your child. If it's everywhere in the world, my child did something so egregious as murder, as terrorizing and scaring the crap out of people in my neighborhood. I am not, and there is video footage. I am not going to act oblivious to the situation. Miss Brown, you are totally oblivious to this situation. You want to say he's set up. He's set up. He's this. He's that. What? What? And they found a bloody tissue in your home and the knife. What? That's a line where you just stop. They find evidence in your home and he's on video. There's a point Miss Brown, where you stop, you can still protect and be there for your son after he's done what he's done. Of course, you're a mother. You're going to. But to come out and just say all these things that's outrageous, you're making yourself look very silly. Very silly. By coming out saying, Oh, it was he was set up and all this, that, and the third. And everyone around is complaining about him. Got footage of him everywhere, doing everything, committing multiple crimes. I will be getting on to my child personally. Of course, I'm going to still love my child and be there for my child. But I will be physically getting on to him. I would not be making excuses for my child on the news. I will be apologizing to the victims that my child hurt. And I will let the public know I'm going to get my son the help that he need. And I'm sorry. But I would not be making excuses for him. That's how you fail kids. When they're wrong, you deal with them in their wrong. You don't make excuses for them, Miss Brown. You're making excuses for Darion. You definitely don't need to be making excuses for Darion because you, knowing he has a mental problem, you were responsible for him. You failed Darion. So why are you acting so oblivious to, to this? You failed your son. You don't need to be making no more excuses. What you need to be doing, Miss Brown, is apologizing to the victims go see your son get him the help he need and stay out of the news and out of the reporters faces and just stop talking because that's BS and I really feel some type of way about you Miss Brown because you knew your child had a mental problem but yet he had no supervision. He was out all types of nights during the day. What is he doing out at 5 a.m.? Do you not know where your son's whereabouts were? But you quick to thought mentally challenged. Okay, you didn't treat him and parent him like he was mentally challenged because you have to be on it. And if you can't be, there are services out there that will help keep up with him if you can't. So you have failed Darion Brown far as knowing where he's at, know what he's doing. Because if he needs that assistance, he should have had it. Because you obviously didn't know where he was and you obviously didn't know what he was doing. But even after all the evidence is in your face, Mother Brown, at some point, you have to stop and look at that evidence and then apologize 
to the victims, families, and the victims. And then go deal with your son. Go deal with your son. Because he has issues. And they need to be dealt with. Because he's going to run into the wrong person. And they're going to hurt him. You're going to be burying him. If you don't get him the help that he needs. Okay. There was also footage of him going into opening up the door through Monica's yard, through the neighbor's yard as well. I didn't want to leave that out. But there's also footage of him opening the door and attempting to go in or look, but something startled him and he left. And he was in someone else's yard. <laughs> so back to what I was saying. Mama Brown. There's too much evidence out there. It's just too much. And I get it. You want to believe he was set up. If there was no footage or not all this evidence, okay. I could meet you somewhere in the middle. But there's footage everywhere. And I compared and I believe that's Darion Brown then you got to take an account to what was found in the home you got to take an account to different crimes that he's committed and then sit and really think about the things that you're saying on the news or to reporters like he was set up so all these people different parts with proof in your face is making it up set everybody wants to set him up for what pick on him for what what would they gain for that it just makes no sense and if something don't make no sense it's just ludicrous okay it's ludicrous so miss brown please if i was you and i'm just going to give you some motherly advice when all the evidence and the blocks are stacked up against you, as far as you and your voice, make a public statement, you know, to the families, apologize, be sympathetic, and then go deal with your son legally. Go in there, visit him, get him the best defense attorney. Also, get him some additional help. May, and I know he has an attorney, make sure he has the best defense attorney. But I wouldn't be going making all these crazy as statements uh, to the public. No, I wouldn't do that. But I would get him the best defense attorney I could. But I wouldn't be making outlandish statements and comments when I know what is on that all the videos. But I would give him the best defense attorney. I would be there to visit. I would get him all the mental help he needs. Because that's all you could really do for him at this point. He will be laying down doing some time. That's all you can do. But you cannot say, oh, it wasn't him when we're sitting there looking at him. Can't you can't you can't say that. You just can't. Okay? Now if he did have someone help him, if he had a partner, it eventually is gonna come out. Okay? But that was he was he was in the he was a culprit he was a part of it so you can't just say he's innocent but if he did not work alone because some people believe that if not guess what they will find out and he won't be alone in jail he won't be they'll join him they will join him in jail okay so like i said Ms. Brown, get your son the best help you can. Legal. All the services you can. Because he's going to need it. And and just, if I was you, I would stay out the media. With, with the, he's innocent because he's far from it. But he, I can meet you somewhere with, he did it with someone. I, I could, I, I could meet you maybe a third of the way if so 
it will come out. I believe he worked alone, personally. But if so, they will find out. And they will go to jail, too. Okay? This is sad and very unfortunate situation. But I just want to break down the crimes that he committed. Vandalism. Um, threatening. With burglary attempt to harm breaking vandalizing property physically assaulting people assaulting um, burglarizing cars I mean the list goes on for Darion okay and he was failed by his mother who should have been on him knowing he had mental problems Texas PD who should have responded to the neighbors calls and complaints and been there to do their job Darion Brown was failed and he's going to pay for this because he's absolutely wrong Cash Journey is the victim and he was failed by many, including people in his home. And people outside his home failed Cash Journey as well. This whole case is sad and it's crazy. But I wanted to bring you this update so you can know everything you possibly can know, anything that comes about I will be posting on this channel regarding these cases that we have covered now tomorrow I will be bringing you guys a video when I get off work about Cash Jernan's biological family because we got to touch Cash Jernan's family and why and how he even ended up in Monica's home and she had custody over them well, I want to say custody. They stayed with her for three months. Where was these biological parents of Cash and Carter? And what was y'all doing? So I will be bringing you guys a video about Cash and Carter's biological parents tomorrow. Because we're going to break that down. Because all a lot of people inside the home and outside the home failed those twin boys. Failed them horribly horribly and we will cover that tomorrow but thank you guys for watching i love you guys um feel free to comment down below let me know how you feel about darion brown's crimes let me know how you feel about his mother let me know how you feel feel free to comment whatever you like to comment down below um feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow